Good day everyone, this is Mr. Cargill and today I will be showing you how to set up your units and your limits for architectural drawing specifically for CXC. Now the units determine what measurements you will be working with when you're drawing whether it will be millimeters or feet and inches whether it will be metric or imperial all right so for cxc we the measurement that we use is millimeters so to set up your units you can either type units and when you type units this will come up or you can click on this a right here and then click on join utilities and click on units now when you're setting up your units for CXE architectural drawing you keep this at decimal change your precision to zero and keep this at millimeters this should be decimal degrees precision over here is zero as well and the standard is international and click OK. So now your units are set. You're working in millimeters, your precision is at zero, everything is as it should be. So now we're going to set up some limits. Now, when you're working with AutoCAD, you'll be working with a very big space, a very large space. So we want to limit ourselves to a certain area. And we do that by creating limits. So for architectural drawing, if you're dealing with floor plans, foundation plans, roof plans, those can all have the same limits. And it will depend on the size of the building that you're working with. So you'll want the space that you are using in AutoCAD to be larger than the space for the building. So for example, if you're working with a if you're working with a floor plan that is 15,000 millimeters by 15,000 millimeters, then you can use a space of 20,000 or 25,000 so that the space that you're working with is, is larger than the actual floor plan. For like side plans, the side plans will be larger. So you could work with a space of like 50,000 depending on the size of the site that you're working with. So there is no set rule as to what the limits should be. It's just about ensuring that the space that you're working with is larger than the larger than the actual drawing. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set the limits. So say for example, I'm working with a floor plan that is 15,000 millimeters by 15,000 millimeters. Then I'm going to set the limits and I'm going to set the limits at, I can't set it at 20,000 but I'm going to set it at 25,000 so I have a, a, a nice amount of space to work with. Alright, so to set the limits, you can just type limits, type L-I, or, yeah, type L-I, and down here you see limits, and you just click on limits, and down here in the command bar it says specify lower left corner. No this is like a graph sheet where the in the lower left corner the x-axis is always zero and the y-axis is always zero all right so right here zero comma zero so we're going to leave that as is we're not going to change anything so we're just going to type enter now it says specify the upper right corner now this is where we want to insert our number and we're going to just type 25,000 so we click in this space right here and we type 25,000 comma 25,000 so type 25 1 2 3 comma 25,000 enter all right so now we have limited our space and this red line this red line and this green line indicates the space that we are working with Alright, so we're working with this space over here. And if we draw anything outside of this space, when we're printing, 
then that won't show. So the red line and the red line and the green line indicates our page that we are actually drawing on. So that's how you set up your limits and your units for architectural drawing for CXE.